Once the nail has gone through a complete cure, then you can um, cleanse it. If, if the nail's perfect and you're ready to go, you can just cleanse it to remove the sticky residue or uh, put a sealer on it this time. If you feel the nail needs to be filed, what we're gonna use is the Artisan Professional Multi-Purpose Gel Nail Cleanser. This will remove that upper sticky residue that forms, it's called an inhibition layer. The inhibition layer is designed so that if you're going to do another uh, layer of this gel at this time, you can put it on and it will stick. If you want to do any perfection to the nail to straighten out, um, uh, to refine the upper surface, then what we're doing is I've taken a little bit of the cleanser and I'm gonna place it onto the surface of the nail and just slide down and gently remove that, shine, that uh, sticky residue. You'll see that the nail stays super shiny. So if you're going to, if the nail's perfect at this particular time, that nail would be completely done. If the nail is not as perfect as you like, now would be the time to come in and do some filing. When you start filing on this nail, one of the things you have to remember with gel is that it is a little bit thinner. It's not as hard as acrylic at this point. So it does not take a heavy hand or a coarse file. You wanna use about a 180 grit file and all I'm gonna do is just some very, very light refining to the upper surface of the nail. Another thing that I do find sometimes with gel is that because it's a liquid, when you put it on, you'll tend to get just a little bit of excess right on the free edge, which creates a little bit of a bump. So I like to come in and smooth that out. When you're filing gel, you'll be able to tell immediately where you have a low spot because that low spot will appear as a shiny spot. So I just come in and I'm very light touch, filing until all of that nail surface is smooth. If I came in right now and with my brush and remove any dust, you'll be able to see the shiny spots. And that those shiny spots are indications of low spots where the surface is not even. So what I wanna do is just very lightly, and you can tell I'm not putting a lot of pressure here, very lightly come across, refine that surface so that when I put my final coat on, I have a completely, completely smooth surface to the nail and a perfect shape. These tips are absolutely wonderful because you just do not have to do a lot of, a lot of work to these tips to get them to look the way you want. Once my nail is almost completely there, I can just finish it up with a buffing block and finish filling it out. Then I'm taking my manicure brush and I'm gonna make sure that I remove all of the dust particles from the surface of that nail. If there's any dust particles on that nail, they will show up as imperfections in your surface. So you wanna make sure those are totally clean. At this point, I have a couple of options. I could come back in with our U-Control gel and put another layer of gel down. If I'm happy with the shape and the, and the strength of my nail, I can come in with the Instant Seal Non-Cleanse Gel Sealer. And this goes on very easily as a polish. It's a thicker viscosity gel, but it's in a nice, easy to control brush on application like a polish bottle. Simply come in and place it on the same as you would polish. Once again, make sure you do not get this up on the cuticle, but you do wanna make sure that we're getting all of those edges kept. Once you have that on and the surface is all totally covered, we're gonna go back into the lamp and do a full two minute cure.